In this video, I'm going to go over how we can play a sample at the release in our uh, MIDI instrument. Right, and this is a problem that I ran into recently when I was trying to create an instrument out of this horn sample. So this is a Nepal horn. You see this a lot in Nepal and Tibet and India, and we'll just we'll just hear this sound. Notice at the end we have this kind of release sound as when the horn player releases the note. So I wanted that sound to play in a new uh, instrument that I'm creating. So let's say I create a new MIDI track and just for sakes of things I'm going to put a simpler in here. This will sort of simpler, sampler, a lot of different things. And if I take this, drag it in here, arm it, Now when it goes to the end, it just stops, and I don't actually get that sound of the release. Well, if I wanted to, I could even come in here and I can loop it. So I'm going to, let's see, fade the loop a little, change the start, and now it'll repeat so I can get a very long held out note. Right, which is what I want, and but I want it so when I release the sound, I get that end sound. So how do I do that? Well, I found out this cool way of doing it that gives you a lot of control over this. And what you gotta do is you're gonna put it in a group. And I've got this first one, which is the horn, and then I'm gonna rename this release. Now on this release one, I'm gonna put that release sample. But the problem is now, I'm gonna solo it. Oh, let's turn that loop part off and the start. Every time I hit it, hit a note, it plays, which isn't what I want. I want it to play on release. So how do I go about doing that? Well, if you just go over to your MIDI effects, go to note length, drag that in, you can change the trigger to note off. So I'm pressing the note and we're not hearing anything. And now I'm going to release it and we get that sound that we're looking for. I'm gonna just increase this release time so it plays all the way through. Right, so now I get the release sound that I'm looking for. Great, perfect, right? Well, there's one problem. Now, if I go in between multiple notes, It's playing the release every single time, which is not necessarily what I want. I want it to be monophonic in a way. I want it to only play when another note isn't being played. I want it to release only at the end. So how do I go about doing that? Well, I realized the simplest way of doing this would be to go ahead into my audio effects and grab a gate. Now, I'm actually gonna sidechain the gate to the input of, well, this track is called Add, and then it's just the first chain, right? So the Nepal horn. Now, great, now we see it playing the Nepal horn. We're still getting that release problem. Well, what you have to do is if you flip it, it's the opposite. It's only going to let the sound through when it doesn't see another sound, right? Normally it goes up and if the sound passes this peak, it lets it through. But now we're saying if there's another sound past that peak, don't let it through. And if there isn't, let this sound through. So it's kind of an opposite of the gate. See, and then we got that tail end. I'm gonna actually adjust this just a little. Great, so now we've got that sound. We got a good release sound whenever no other song, no other note is being played. Perfect. So granted, I need to tweak this a little bit by getting that, that attack sound just right because you notice a few clicks and stuff. But at the end, this is what I created by using two chains. And it has that nice little 
added release at the end. Now you can use this creatively in a lot of different ways. You can add a release sound to like a piano, sounding as if the keys are being played and you're getting a little bit of that the key sound. Or you can have it where, let's say, you have a foot pedal that you release at the end of a phrase or something. You can map this, like the foot pedal sound, to, uh, to release at the end. And all sorts of creative ideas can come out of this technique of having a sound play at the release of a note. So hopefully this will help you in the creation of your instruments. I know that I going to use this a lot now that I know it and now that I know the tips and tricks around it. So join. Feel free to follow me at subacreousmusic.com. I'm going to have more tips, tricks, things like this coming out all the time. I have over 200 free articles on there as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel and you'll see all the new uh, techniques and tools that I come out with. And this Nepal horn is one of three instruments that I'm going to be releasing by donation on my site that are all traditional Nepal instruments, and, and all donations will go towards the funds in helping the people of Nepal. I wanted to create unique instruments from Nepal to give to producers in creating remix albums and different things like that because there's lots of compilations coming out to help the people of Nepal, and I want to give these tools to them as well as a way to directly give towards the people of Nepal. So I'm, I'm really grateful that I'm able to make this and share it with you. And if you believe in that, go ahead, check out the article, share it with other producers.